Crunch the Shy Dinosaur by Sirocco Dunlap. This is Crunch. Crunch is shy, so you'll have to be the first to say hello. Go on, say hello. Oh my, you've said it too loudly. Crunch seems to have run off. Do you see him anywhere? He likes the happy birthday song. Do you know that song? If you sing it, maybe he'll come out. It worked. He's out. He loves birthdays because someone has one every day. He loves days in general. He's very positive. Try to say hello again. You can try it quietly so you don't scare him. That was too quiet. He's gotten uncomfortably close to you. Try it one more time in a nice, medium-sounding voice. Bold, yet gentle. Perfect! You can tell he liked that because he's an appropriate distance from you and also because he put on his most fun hat and his dancing. Now you can tell him your name. Say it clearly so he can paint it on that big rock. He loves painting names. There's your name perfectly painted. You can't see it because it's behind a big pile of leaves. Say thank you, Crunch. Your voice startled him. Maybe now would be a good time to be very quiet and very still and see if he climbs back down. Good job being so quiet and still. Sometimes it's important to let shy dinosaurs come to you and at their own pace. Crunch is tired from all the climbing and painting and socializing. You can remind him he should go to sleep by saying goodnight, Crunch. He must have thought you said good light, Crunch. Say good night, Crunch, one more time in a calm and soothing voice. Maybe you can lie down when you say it to show him how nice sleep is. You did it! He passed out immediately. We should probably let him sleep. If you wouldn't mind, please close this book very gently. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more kids' story time.